Hi, my name is Kuspiegel and today I want to talk about the Narbox and especially their new Kickstarter campaign about the Narbox 2.0, which is an amazing device that is great for travel photographers who want to take their pro-level photography from their cameras straight into their mobile phone or iPad or other tablet to start editing straight away and then publish to social media or otherwise. This kind of kit gives you the ability to do many things in the field instead of having to go back to your computer or bring your computer everywhere. So let's talk about the Narbox 2.0 and why I immediately became a backer when I heard that they have a new product. Before we talk about 2.0, let's talk about the 1.0 version of the Narbox. It is essentially a hard drive that is an SSD and it has 128 gigs of storage. They later upgraded to 256 gigabytes. And you essentially have a processor, you have Wi-Fi, and you have a card reader built in and a battery to run it all. So what you can do as an example workflow is you can take photos with your uh, DSLR, you put in the card into the Narbox, you transfer all the photos, and then you go to your phone or your tablet and you can work with those photos in RAW in, let's say, Lightroom Mobile, for example. And at the time with the Narbox 1.0, there weren't actually that many applications that supported that. But now it's a much different picture. There is way more ecosystem for the Narbox already. And that's an amazing thing that happened over the time of those past two years, that mobile photo editing, mobile video editing became much, much more powerful. Uh, the Narbox also uh, was able to do preview files for pro codecs, like the ProRes, for example, that you can shoot those on your camera and then you bring it on the Narbox and then you can straight away start selecting, putting in and out points in the footage. And overall, it's essentially a data hub that can be accessed by your tablet or iPhone or Android device. And you can sort footage, you can edit footage, and you can immediately share footage. Now what Narbox did with the 2.0 is they increased the battery life, they increased the storage capacity, and they also increased the processing power. So rendering um, the preview files and stuff like that will be much, much quicker. Also the Wi-Fi and the transfer speeds have changed drastically. But what made me jump at this kind of opportunity is that uh, it will change my workflow. Now I have to mention one thing, I never had the device itself in my hands, I never had the version 1.0 in my hands. I'm purely talking about my, my expectation of becoming a backer and why I think that this will be an amazing addition to my workflow and especially fix one specific problem that I always struggle with. Now with that in mind, let's talk about why I became a backer and what I will be testing once I receive the Narbox 2.0 in about December 2017, when the Kickstarter delivery will happen. The main reason for me to buy this product or back the project on Kickstarter is that most of the time I take photos on my bigger cameras, the uh, Sony A7 Mark II or seven A7S Mark II, or I take photos on my phone. Now, I personally most often prefer the photos that I take with my camera because they have shallower depth of field, they have a much bigger quality, they have more megapixels, and like all the good things off the camera, it has the like incredible glass. Now, granted with moment lenses and stuff like that, which I would love to get into in a later video, but I haven't even tried them yet, but they look so incredible. I would love to own a couple of those moment lenses and put them to the test on like my travels and just shooting photos on mobile. But until that happens, I'm going to use my Sony way more often than my phone to take photos. But that also means that I either have to go through the laborious process of actually connecting to the camera in like the Wi-Fi mode and then downloading the picture to my phone, which is only two megapixels because it's downsized for preview purposes. And it just is a hassle to get all that through the process. And I don't even get the raw file from my camera. And that's maybe something that is um, concerning or it should be concerning for the camera manufacturers of the Sony cameras or the Canon cameras. Please be able to like transfer the raw files into our phones and tablets with Wi-Fi because that really is the whole point of shooting the pro-level cameras, or one big point for shooting those pro-level cameras. Now back to the Narbox. Essentially, the Narbox will be able to take in the footage, whether it's 4K, slow motion, with like video stuff, or the full 24 megapixels raw files from the camera, and it automatically can generate um, preview files based on those files. So you can immediately preview them on your phone, and also preview the photos, select them, and pre-select your selection for coming back home. To continue about my workflow, it is mostly taking photos with a bigger camera, 
either transferring the low res version to my phone and just editing it right there and sharing it, which I'd rather not do that way. So in, in the end, I most often end up transferring the files to my computer, editing the photo there, and then transferring it back to my phone and finishing touches there, sharing it on Instagram or similar. I will have a different video talking about the new tricks and tips and tools that I use for Instagram, one of which being Buffer, because they can now schedule photos that are shared to Instagram immediately online on your computer. So you don't actually have to transfer the photo onto your phone. You don't have to be online when the photo has to go live. It just is all automated for specifically for Instagram business profiles. So that's an amazing new tool that um, can be used to be able to immediately schedule a photo for Instagram. But mostly if I wanna do, for example, a story, uh, and I do it with a high quality video or a high quality photo, I have to go to the computer, edit, and then put it on my phone and upload it to the story. To make all this much smoother and way easier on the go, this Narbox device will hopefully change all that. It will hopefully give me the opportunity, and that's what I'm expecting based on the marketing materials that I've seen, the um, updates they have sent out for the Kickstarter campaign, it basically means that the photos can be taken in from the camera onto the Narbox and then I can edit them straight away and I can select them. I can work with Lightroom Mobile, which also supports raw files from almost all camera manufacturers. So I can immediately start editing with the full quality of the photos on my mobile phone. I can put them in stories. I can put them on Instagram. I can share them wherever I wanna share them. The other really powerful thing is that you can select photos on the phone and the metadata will be stored on the photo. So when I import them in Lightroom, it automatically has the ratings that I already gave that photo. They recently showcased the workflow of that new application that will work with the Narbox together um, to be able to go through and it is a blast and it's like super fast because they optimize the um, picture sizes so you can like really quickly like just snap through them very very easily and rate the photos that you've taken so if you're on a bus ride from location back home you can already start selecting your photos and you're done and you can just import them into your Lightroom and you have the ratings you can start editing the, uh, the keepers or you already shared your keeper on Instagram or in the Instagram story, for example, because you have access to that with this device. Most of these things pertain to photography, and this is also where I see most of the use that I will get out of the Narbox to select photos, to be able to share photos immediately to my social platforms and um, be able to sort them on the go while not even having my computer out but the video capabilities are just as incredible. Nowadays, we can actually do video editing on our mobiles with applications like LumaFusion, for example, which is also compatible with the Narbox and its rendering power will also be integrated later. At least that's from the news that I've heard that it kind of like is something they're working with that the processing power of the Narbox will actually be able to render the videos as well. Right now, it's mostly storing the, full, uh, storing the footage editing the footage, and then exporting the files into the camera roll or back to the Narbox. But this is an amazing time to see what mobile photo editing will bring in the near future. And especially with devices like this, it's going to be that much more powerful because the mobile device will be able to handle the raw files from bigger cameras. It will be able to handle the 4K footage, maybe even the 8K footage from like red cameras to down sample them, render the preview files, be able to set in and out points. So when you get back to your uh, editing suite you already have again same thing as with a photo you can select those parts of videos so you can immediately start editing with the stuff that you want to actually edit so you don't lose that time you're on the go you're on the bus or wherever and that's something again for me as a travel photographer travel filmmaker I want to have this like in between um, kind of like workflow where I can share a photo right in a coffee shop after hiking up something. Now I've mentioned before, I have not seen the device in person. I've never used the device in person. This video is purely my expectation, what I am excited about um, backing this project and what I expect to be testing once I have it actually in my hands, which will probably be sometime around December of 2017. That's the expected delivery date on the Kickstarter campaign. Now they just updated the Kickstarter campaign with their stretch goal, which was 750,000 US dollars. They actually made that and they are now up to going higher than that. 
So if you're interested in a device like this and like back this opportunity to be able to do more mobile photo editing on a higher quality level, then I would highly encourage you to look at the description below. Uh, it's not an affiliate link, it's just me sharing this project because I, th I am excited about it and I have a certain opinion that I wanna test and I wanna kind of remember my, for myself what I thought the project or the product would be and then see in person what it actually will be once I actually have it in my hands. Personally, I chose to go with a one terabyte version of the device because I think it's a great way to also have more storage and backup capabilities on the go. And the device already has the same size, whether you take the 128, the 256, 512 gigs, you can basically take any of those capacities and the device is the same size. And me traveling around the world, I already have that much stuff. So having one terabyte of storage in this device is that much more helpful than having just half of that or something. Another great thing to mention is because I am running this new computer, uh, the MacBook Pro 2017, which only has USB Type-C uh, connection ports, the Narbox also features the USB Type-C connection port, actually two of them. One of them is for charging and actually powering the whole device and also being able to connect to the computer. And the second one is a connection port for a card reader, for example. Now this is especially important for people who are shooting, for example, the Canon 1DX Mark II, which I'm also eyeing, or people who are shooting with the Red Max and the Red camera itself. Uh, you're able to connect the card reader to, that, uh, to the NAR box, and then you can transfer the files onto this hard drive. Being able to use these USB Type-C connectors, which are now going to be in almost all devices, and it's like a gradual um, process to go away from everything that was before, all the different connectors, all the different ports, this actually gives us a more um, versatile and a more collaborative environment to be able to use these like different devices and put them all together. And the Narbrox features that, and it is up right up there in the forefront of new devices and new technology. So it's using that, and it's really great to see that adoption. Now I'm interested what you think about the Narbox. If you have any experience with the Narbox 1.0 and expectancies to the 2.0, I am super excited to test it all out. I'm more than excited to be able to uh, edit my photos and especially the raw photos on my phone. That would be amazing. So all of that being said, I hope you liked this video. It wasn't the kind of video like me talking about something very specific. It's more something that I wanna store a memory of that I know what I talked about when the device actually will be in my hands so I can compare what I thought it would be and what it actually is. With all of that being said, please leave your comments down below, like this video, subscribe to my channel and follow me on Instagram where I also do much more stories. And as I mentioned, just the mobile photography goes up there and I see you in the next video. Bye.